Hi, Phil Ciccio here, founder of Success Think. I wanted to talk to you today about the Pareto Principle. You may have heard of this principle. It's called the 80-20 Principle or the 80-20 Rule. A gentleman back in the early 1900s, his name was, he was an Italian man, he was in Italy, and his name was Vilfredo Pareto. And so what he discovered, he was an economist and he was studying economy, and he found that in Italy at the time that 20% of the people owned 80% of the land. And so that kind of intrigued him. And he started to look at other areas where this rule might have applied. And he looked in his own garden and he found that 20% of his pea pods produce 80% of the peas. And so he started to really look into this principle and he discovered that this was in pretty much all areas in general, this was the rule. In other words, he discovered that in his garden, 20% of the crops reaped 80% of the harvest. He realized that, you know, you probably wear 20% of the clothes in your closet 80% of the time, or 20% of the shoes in your closet 80% of the time. And so as he started to look at this and started to expand, he found that in businesses, the same thing is happening where 20% of your people are probably giving you 80% of your results, or 20% of your people are giving you 80% of your headaches, right? And so think about this for a moment. This 2080 rule applies in all areas, customer service. Like for instance, 20% of your customers are giving you 80% of either your positive customer service surveys or negative customer service surveys. So 20% of the people give you 80% of the results. So it's the law of cause and effect. And what it's saying is that 80% of the effect is from 20% of the cause. And so I wanna to talk to you about your employees, the people that you're trying to help develop to become better. And so we'll put them into two categories, category A being the 20%, category B being the 80%. So let's just talk about the 80%, right? 80% of the, your 80% is giving you 20% of your results. And so these people are of the mindset that, you know, work is work, right? How many hours do I get to put in? What time is it? When do I get out of here? I got one minute left and I'm punching out. That's that person. Uh, they also think and talk about, you know, benefits and are the benefits good here? They're thinking about benefits and hourly wage. They're talking about holidays. How many do we get versus how many does another organization give? Uh, they're focused on the wrong things, right? And it's not because they're bad people. They're good people, but they're just not bought in like the 20%. And that's the other group that I wanna talk about. This group, they are, they're not the ones thinking about how many days off do we get a year and what's our 401k look like and what does our, um, our benefits package look like and all those things and what's my salary. Those are important to them, don't get me wrong, but that's not their focus. What they're focused on is what can we do better or what could I do better to uh, drive performance here? What could I do better to sell more product? What could we do better here as an organization or department to stand out as the industry leader? They're thinking more big picture. See, they're bought in, they own their role. There's a big difference here, right? They're thinking about the contribution that they're making. They're thinking about how they can contribute to the greater good of the organization. They look at what the vision and the mission is of this organization or what the purpose is. They wanna be a part of that. They wanna be a part of something greater than themselves. And so these are the people that are really giving you most of your results. Now, when it comes to training your people, you've got to understand this Pareto principle. Because although it's pretty common that 20% of your people are giving you 80% of your results, in other words, 80% of those people are giving you 20% uh, of your results, uh, think about this for a moment. When we focus on these people, we have to focus on them from a different perspective. Just giving them training alone isn't gonna change their mindset over what it is that they believe about the organization or themselves. And so in training, although training is important, we've gotta train on processes and systems and, and, and ways to do things, whether that's communication or you know, whatever those things are that you wanna train on, the most important thing is to get them to understand the value that they bring, right? What are they bringing? How can we get this 2080 principle shifting into our favor so that rather than only having 20% of the people giving you 80% of the results, we notch that up and defy the Pareto principle by going to 30% or 40% or 50%. You see, you as a manager, it's, it's so important that you understand this. It's about developing your people, not just training them on systems and processes and techniques and giving them the tools, all those are important. We've got to train them to understand the value that they bring, raise their level of self, raise their, uh, connect them to the purpose and the mission of the organization, change culture. 
And so if you'd like to learn more about this idea and really make a shift, and I'm talking about a paradigm shift in your organization so that the training that you're offering or the trainers that are coming in to help you aren't just coming in and going through a routine of changing systems, processes, and, and giving tools, but really shifting the mindset of your people so that we can defy the Pareto Principle, just reach out to me, either via email or contact me. My information is right here on my website. And I can share with you just a few concepts throughout my training that will really create a paradigm shift in your organization and help you help your people. Because think about this, isn't that your role anyways? Your role is all about developing your people. Now developing your people, I think, starts from the inside out, not from the outside in. Most training is intellectual, where we train people on things that are, you know, that they need to use their intellect, but that doesn't change who they are as a human being. We've got to change who they are as a human being internally for things to change externally. So reach out to me, either call me or send me an email. Uh, my information is right here on the website. I look forward to talking to you and hopefully working with you someday. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.